Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. Everyone joining us this morning, we have Deborah Sanchez. She's the director of Saginaw Promise. Deborah, it's so good to see you. How are you? I am very well, thank you. We appreciate the opportunity. Yes, absolutely. So we are talking about uh, Saginaw Promise uh, luncheon that's coming up. But first, before we get to that, just tell our viewers a little bit what Saginaw Promise is, its mission. Definitely. The Saginaw Promise is an economic initiative. It's really focused on positive change, and we believe that post-secondary education is the change agent. And if we can affect a community, its economy and its quality of life mm -hmm. through education. Education once learned or earned is never lost. Right, it's exactly. And I, I just have to preface this before we even get further that I did a story with the Saginaw Promise about three, two years ago. Yes. And uh, just seeing that in action, you guys in action was really great. Oh, and you were able to feature one of our scholars who had graduated, earned her uh, program, I think it was a degree actually, yeah. and she wants to go into business. I and, love it. And just exciting. And, and I should mention too that we're not only committed to promoting post-secondary ed, but our pr Promise Scholarship actually funds post-secondary ed. Okay. And so we want to help open those doors to, to education. Absolutely. So let's get to this uh, Promise Luncheon that's happening. Tell us about the event, what's planned on it. It's very exciting. Uh, this is our annual big event, and what this does is allow us to raise funds to support our programming and our scholarships. This year's event is featuring Pete Cadence. Pete Cadence, some of the some of your viewers may have uh, seen him on 60 Minutes. Okay. Uh, he is the founder of Hope Chicago, and they actually have made a big commitment to eliminate the barriers to post-secondary education, higher education. They want everyone to go on and excel. And what they've done is a, a commitment to 30,000 Chicago students. Plus, they surprise them by saying, not only are you going to receive a four-year college education, but one of your parents or guardians will also receive that education with wraparound services, wow. which will support attainment. That is life-changing. It is. Just a great opportunity. I think uh, it's, his, uh, you know, he had that large scale and he's coming here. What does it mean for you to have him here for the Saginaw Promise? Well, you know, he's doing it on a much larger scale, what we want to do here and what yeah. we've been working at, but it's inspirational. And I think, too, sometimes when you have local people or a local message, it, it really is um, more impactful to even have someone from the outside come in yeah. and say, this is why we also believe. And so we're excited for him to share their message, share their experience, and to really um, just kind of uh, let people hear another voice messaging what we've been messaging. I think that's great. And uh, can people just uh, come in and attend this? How do they yes, come? Yes, please. Um, what they can do is they can go to our website, Saginaw Promise website, or they can call 989-401-6250. I'm looking down because this is a new phone number. That's fine. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> just, um, you know, that's certainly a way they can uh, make arrangements to purchase it using a charge card, mm -hmm. a check, what have you, or come into the office. And so we would love to have them come and attend and, and listen to Pete's message and, and information. We'll also be highlighting Saginaw Promise Scholars. Okay. We'll be featuring them as well as one who's doing her student teaching right now and graduating in the spring. That's so exciting. Are there, uh, is that a big class that you guys have this year, or your scholars? It's, it's, it's not too bad. We have about 50, I think we're gonna end up with about 60. That's a pretty right now. good and, and Well, especially when you start funding that yeah. <laughs> and paying for it. But no, it, it's uh, it's coming along really nicely. And we have some students who will be taking summer classes. They may not need us in the fall or winter, right. but they'll use their scholarship in the summer, and spring and summer. Oh, man, I, I just thank you so much for giving our students in the area this opportunity and, and bringing in this outside voice to inspire. So is there anything else you would like our viewers to know about Saginaw Promise or the luncheon? Well, both actually. Okay. If I could, just first of all, to let them know that the scholarship application will be opening up on November 1st, and that will be due on February 10th. Please complete that application. And if you are a first year scholar, complete it again for your second year. There we go. You know, we just want to make sure they get those in. And then secondly, please try and make every effort to come to this event. This is how we raise our funds. Yeah. This is our one big, big fundraiser that we do annually. And I think they're they're not going to be um, disappointed with with Pete. He's yeah. got a wonderful energy and just a, a real commitment and and we appreciate him coming in. Absolutely. Thank you. It was such a pleasure. Thanks so much for coming and sharing this message. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Anytime.
And for all this information, great information, just go to the hot links section of our website, WNEM.com.